Good afternoon, everyone. I'm up here in the hot chicken barn, and I am glistening a lot. I came up here because it was raining outside, and I wanted to make certain that all the little doors were open so that the little chicks could come in out of the rain if they wanted to. And I keep calling them little chicks, but they're not little anymore. Um, but I wanted to make sure that was done, so I went ahead and brought water, and I've done food and snacks, and everybody's good and cozy. And it's hot in here. I do have the fans on and they're on low. I sit them on the floor so that way if the birds get, you know, the draft starts getting to them, they can get up on their perches and the draft won't be there. So they either have to be down to get the the breeze or they get on, you know, to get out of it. I have a lot to say, but I'm not certain how I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say real quick, let me talk about my view first. Okay, I like to stay in my lane. And what is my lane? My lane is my lane. It's my spirituality or religion. It is my sexuality or identification. It is how I live my life. What makes me happy? What doesn't make me happy? What I do in order to be me? That's my lane. I don't, I don't get out of my lane. I, I, I just don't. But since Kamala has come on the stage, a lot of people are, are jumping their lanes. And I'm going to tell you, it's showing. It's sad to see people be so racist, sexist, and disgusting to another human being just because they're in a different lane. I don't get that. It is not your business what other people do. And you say, well, they're doing it in front of me. It's freedom. Well, I didn't like what they did in France. We're not from France. That's France. And it was so misinterpreted. I said that wrong. I don't care. It was not the Last Supper. It was not a trans Last Supper. It had to do with something else. You'd have to look it up and really dive in. I, I thought it was so minuscule to get so upset over that. You know, you're there to celebrate the Olympics. You're watching it for the athletes. Stay in your lane. When you say, well, I don't care if people are this or that, as long as I don't have to see it, well, who are you? You mean they can only do certain things inside of the house? Like say someone who is one way wants to dress another way because it makes them feel good and they come out of the house dressed like that and you see them, well, stay in your lane. If people want to worship God or Allah or Mother Earth, or whomever, Buddha. Well, it's not your business. Stay in your lane. If you let it affect you so much that you cannot be in your lane and enjoy your life without wanting to hop over into someone else's lane and tell them what to do, that's on you. That's not these people's problem. We are never going to go back to a time where people were afraid to come out as who they were or afraid to be who they are or follow certain rules of engagement 
because it could cause a major problem. That's no longer. It's over. If you want to be Christian and you don't want to be a hypocrite, then stay in your lane. I don't understand why people jump out of their lane and think they're responsible for the world. And this is exactly what is terrifying about Project 2025. And yes, you can say, well, Donald said that he had nothing to do with it. That is a lie. Just like the 2020 election was stolen. Lie. Just like his administration was great. Lie. But here's the thing. When you are a racist, you're a sexist, you're a culturalist. I don't even know if that's a word. But if a culture bothers you, just stay in your lane. If you want to be Christian, stay in your lane. Don't worry about saving the world. It's not your world to save. And I think that's what is so annoying because it's like, well, I am a patriot, I am a Christian, and I want this for my country. Stay in your lane. It's not your place. To tell others how to live. Or to try to make rules, laws, and legislation to only be in your lane. Well, I don't understand why everybody is so upset. Then you don't have compassion, empathy, or sympathy for others. You don't understand what other people have gone through. You don't understand what it's like to be them. You don't understand what it's like for them to deal with people like you. That's right, little, little bird. Stay in your lane. I will say, though, that I think a lot of it is fear. Because I think that the, the reality of the whole thing is, is that this presidential race has gotten very, very scary to a lot of people who thought they had it in the bag. We're not going back. I've heard Venezuela brought up. Well, better watch Venezuela because you know what that means. I'm not going to say anything, but you better watch Venezuela. From what I know about Venezuela, it's very similar, similar to 2020. When Trump refused to leave office, when he said the election was stolen, when he started an insurrection, and when he left, he kept classified documentations, documents, shared secrets. It's very similar to 2020. And if you're trying to say that the Biden administration would not leave the, the White House if they lost, that projection doesn't fit. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane because your projection isn't very good. Now, if you want to compare it to what could happen if Harris wins and we have another insurrection or a civil war due to people who cannot accept what happened being legitimate, because I'm going to tell you right now, I have not seen this kind of voting since Obama, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's a lot bigger than that because there's a lot more at stake. It's not just the economics. It's people wanting to live their life the way they want to live it in their lane. And I ask you again, please stay in your lane because if you don't stay in your lane and you make racist comments or 
comments about people's religions or spirituality, and you say, well, I don't care what you do as long as I don't have to see it, well, that's too bad. People and human beings have rights. And if we get Project 2025, we know those rights are going to be taken away. Your racism, your sexism, and your absolute disregard for human life. You say you're pro-life, but you're only pro-life to make it. I think you're sick. I think you need to stay in your lane. You need to take a deep breath and remember the serenity prayer. Know what you can change. You accept the things you can't, in a nutshell. Because you can't change people. You can't change human beings. Just stay in your lane. You'll have a great day. Close from a distance. I'm getting out of here. Get out in the wind or something. Get down on the floor. <laughs> Get on the fan. Have a great day. Hugs in the distance. My heart goes out to Vermont. The second flooding of the year. Absolute disaster. Hang in there, guys. Bye, y'all. Hugs from a distance.